So let's uh, go over to uh, Lonnie Quinn, hoping for tomorrow to be a sunny day. Okay, you no, know, we started off today with some rain out there, and then the sun did pop out. We had gorgeous weather. That should continue for the most part for the next seven days. Here's your picture, so it's dark, but uh, no, it's not sunny, but it's, it is mostly clear overhead. 72 degrees right now. What you should be getting ready for is sort of a cool, refreshing forecast throughout the day tomorrow. In fact, early tomorrow morning, some of you possibly could get down into the upper 40s north and west early in the morning. And in terms of like the heat for the month of August, we've had zero 90 degree days. It will be zero 90 degree days for August. Last time that happened was in 2000. Well, it's not gonna happen, I and mean, it's gonna happen this year because we do not see 90 degrees brewing during August. But September is only days away, and sure enough, next week, not one, not two, possibly three 90 degree days. It's close. It's going to be close next week once you get into the very start of September. This was the big weather story today. Hurricane Adalia making landfalls a category three near Keaton Beach, Florida on the big bend of Florida. 125 mile per hour winds. Let's show you what we are dealing with now. This is Adalia currently. Tropical storms I showed you at the top of the newscast. Uh, we've got a tornado watch currently in North Carolina. You'll see funnel cloud, a possibly reported tornado right there. There, putting big rains down. So it's a tropical storm, but a lot of rain still to come with this system. Rainfall numbers have nothing to do whether a storm's a tropical storm or a hurricane or a one or a two or a three or a four. That has a lot of rain to go. You could see upwards of a half a foot, maybe nine inches in portions of the Outer Banks. This front that came through that's bringing us the cooler air for tomorrow also prevents the hurricane from, or the tropical storm from getting into our area. Maybe a few clouds sift in, but high pressure, the dominant player tomorrow. We're gonna go for 75 degrees. You will get some of that Adalia cloud cover, so it's not perfectly blue sky. 75 with some clouds, a September feel. 75 is a little too cool for this time of the year. And I will say with Adalia out there and Franklin out there churning up the oceans, we have a high surf advisory potentially six to nine foot waves out there, and that possibly through 6 p.m. tomorrow. Here's what I see for the holiday weekend. Saturday, you're 79. Sunday, 86. Monday, there we go, Labor Day, possibly 90 degrees. No 90 degree days in August, but yet we could see them in early September. Rain chances not on the board, and I don't really see big rain chances for the seven-day forecast. We talked about 75 goes to 77 from tomorrow to Friday. 79, maybe an 80 on Saturday, but you're above average on Sunday at 86. 90 Monday, 90 Tuesday. 87 Wednesday, so there is some heat that's going to be returning to the area. But as far as a holiday forecast to finish up, you know, the sort of unofficial yeah. end of summer, that is pretty good, everybody. Enjoy it. Love it. Love it. Thank okay. you, Lonnie.